Hello, uh, this is just a very short uh, open evening introduction to studying A-level chemistry here at Barton Peveril. Um, the course that, that we, we um, run is the OCR A specification. Okay, and uh, the minimum entry requirements if you wish to study chemistry is a grade six in either combined science or chemistry. You need a grade six in maths. Um, and a grade five in English, the minimum average GCSE score has to be five and a half, okay? Um, the whole course is 100% exams. So there are three exams at the end of the two-year course, um, and all exams are synoptic, um, which cover means it covers the, the two years. Uh, paper one is two and a quarter hours, and that covers... Um, uh, inorganic chemistry and some physical chemistry. Paper two is organic and synthetic chemistry. Uh, and paper three, and paper two is also two and a quarter hours. Paper three is an hour and a half, and that covers everything. All right, so papers one and two split the course in half over the two years, but paper three can exam you on anything. Now, um, <clears throat> we also do a, the, the practical endorsement so that means you must do a minimum of 12 required practicals and the skills, the practical skills um, are assessed in class um, and also in an exercise book. Um, and we, we do more than 12 required practicals um, and there are lots and lots of opportunities to access the skills and pass them. Um, and it's really nothing to worry about. Um, it's not like old coursework where you're being examined. It's it's just the skills are being assessed, and, and it's very, very, very informal and relaxed. Um, but at the end of the course, you will get your grade based on your three exams, and then next to the grade will be a pass or fail based on the practical endorsement. Um, if a student gets towards the end of the course and they haven't um, passed certain skills, which is very rare unless attendance is, um, um, has dropped dramatically, um, we usually do mop-up sessions, so we've never had anyone fail it to, to date. Um, so the course, um, like I've said, there are um, you, you do a lot of practical work. So there are six modules. The topics, module one is development of practical skills and chemistry. So that's all the required practicals. We start with foundations in chemistry, which is the basics. So we start with atoms, ions, and compounds. Then we go to amount of substance, which is moles. And then we go to acids, bases, and salts before we start moving into more uh, away from the GCSE specification, building on that that that, that knowledge gained at GCSE. Uh, module three is a periodic table in energy, so carrying on that inorganic theme with a bit of physical chemistry. Module four is where um, we do a lot of um, obviously organic chemistry. Um, but it's basic organic chemistry, which is, is quite far beyond what you study at GCSE. And then module five is in, we start it towards the end of the first year and start of the second year. Um, and that's really higher level, second year, A-level, physical chemistry, transition elements, um, you know, pH, um, enthalpy profiles, Born Harbor cycles, um, transition metals, um, energetics, and then module six is all the further organic chemistry, organic chemistry mechanisms, synthesis, uh, <clears throat> analysis, including mass spec, NMR, proton and carbon, um, and that that's that encompasses the course. Uh, so why should you choose chemistry at Barton Peveril? Obviously, we have a state-of-the-art um, new science centre with four chemistry labs, one classroom, and um, a suite of computers. Um, we do a lot of practical work. Uh, we pride ourselves that we do far more than the required practicals than necessary. Um, obviously, um, it's difficult at the moment, but we do do trips to Southampton University, um, to their research facilities. We um, give opportunities for students to apply for um, summer schools um, to go and work alongside PhD students. And we also have um, science extension um, where there are elements of chemistry on that as well. And we also run the Cambridge Chemistry Challenge um, every year for first year students. And we've had two successful students in the top 0.6% of around eight to 9,000 students. They get opportunities um, to go to Cambridge for a summer school. 
um, and they have successfully applied. One of them went to Cambridge, I think the other student went somewhere else. But um, and, and we've had lots of other successful students gain gold and silver and copper certificates, which they can use for UCAS. So um, and also for second years, for, for the um, pure chemists, I'd call them. We do the chemistry Olympiad as well. That runs um, in the second year. So we do provide lots of opportunities to extend our students um, alongside substantial UCAS support as well. Uh, I'm just going to show you as well what we do offer our students. So we, we have this um, Google site for A-level chemistry. So um, you can see all the chemistry teachers there. Okay, Lynn's the technician. Nathan's the director of science. I'm the subject leader of chemistry. We have Jess and Lauren also as teachers. Um, just a background from about me, I actually have worked in industry for over 17 years as a medicinal chemist doing drug discovery. So I do have lots of relevant experience. I also worked as an industrial chemist. So I can link lots of, of what we teach to, to industry and, and how it affects everyday life. Um, but this is our website and you can see extensive um, resources on there. So for instance, if I just click on the past papers and revision resources, uh, I'll just look at a year two past paper and revision links. If we look in here, just giving some examples. There was all sorts of folders and links, but um, we pride ourselves in our ability to provide high quality, um, independent learning resources for our students. If I just make this bigger, we've got all the past papers there um, with mark schemes and examiner's reports. But what, what I've done is for every paper, I have written model answers and also explained mark schemes and tried to annotate around questions. So, for instance, if we just look at this question here, number three, not only have I, I mean, this is a multiple choice. I'm showing um, the right answer and how to calculate it. I'm also explaining why it's the right answer. I'm also explaining, in some cases, the misconception. And uh, I do that for all the exams. So we provide that for students and the feedback we get, it's, it's very useful. Um, so I'm just showing you um, a question that's not multiple choice. Uh, the blue writing indicates the topic. So students, they, they find that very useful. Um, and obviously there's videos as well that accompany um, the topics we provide. Um, but that, that's, that's, we pride ourselves on, on what, what we can offer students independently. Thank you for watching.